Hi, welcome back to another s Streaming Junkies video. Streaming Junkies, Ritter Continuity Crew. We're continuing our Chad Week, or Chadwick Bozeman Week. Uh, today, we have a very special, special, special video. It's uh, it's our last one. So yes, today. The, the ending of Chad Week. Mm -hmm. Or maybe there might be more in, on the weekend. Who knows? Yeah. We don't know. I we can tell know. you that much. You know what's funny? What? I mean, you don't. You can put this in the video or not, but like... <laughs> This is the we still haven't shot the first video of Chadwick. No, no. <laughs> so we don't know how that's gonna go. That's fine. If you've been keeping up, we are giving these away. If you just like, comment, and subscribe. If you just comment down below, wait for the comment until the end of this video, though. You gotta make sure you Dude, comment. That rhyme, bro. Yeah. Holy you shit. gotta make sure Bars. you comment the right thing, or you won't be entered. You won't be. But entered. if you comment all the right comments, they're all at the end of the video, so you gotta watch till the end. We're Not don't don't cheat, don't cheat. No cheating. But if you comment I'm at sure least on one of the videos, that. you're entered once. But if you comment on all, there should be five. You're entered five times. You're entered five. Oh well, you gotta complete all five steps. No. To progression. Uh, and no. recovery. So Same. you're still recovering from his passing. I mean, out of all the celebrity deaths that have happened in my lifetime, this is it's up there. Like it's just it don't it still is like doesn't seem real. When it happened, like we were all on like an Xbox party and like Oh yeah. I we was were like, drunk. Oh. Wow. We were playing was GTA I? five. No, I don't think that was that same no, night. No, that was the same night because we were recording. And I'm pretty sure no, I don't have the recording anymore. No. I don't know. Whatever. It was well, the same night. I was like, wait, what? And like, oh, it was so sad. And it still just doesn't seem real. But I definitely say this one's affected me like emotionally the most. Next would be like Robin Williams. Mine is um, Paul Walker, then Robin Williams. Yeah, well, and that's definitely movies. The Mac Miller like music. Or Mac Miller Mac too. Miller. Yeah. Oof. I was in class when that happened. I remember Oof. that. I was at work when I found out. Oof. All right. Well, today we're gonna be talking about the Five Bloods. The Five Bloods. The Five Bloods. It's it's directed by Spike Lee, so I had high hopes. I had so high hopes for this movie. So, uh, see, and I think that was my fault for like, that's probably my fault for. I don't know. I feel like that. some of Spike Lee's movies aren't all like. There's been other movies that are on the same tier as this one, but this one's just. It's not like his top tier. Like, no. it's not we what we know Spike Lee can do. Mm -mm. No, uh, he was. It seemed like he was limited on this one. Uh, the way I think of it's this, Netflix. yeah, that's probably true too. But this movie was just. It, it was just a train wreck. Yeah, honestly. I, I, I can't oh. believe it that I can believe go, that this like, was a Spike go, Lee movie. Go ahead. Like I want to hear why you think it was a train wreck. The reason why I think it was a train wreck is because the story was just everywhere. So you, it was Gee. very, it was somewhat difficult to keep up, and that's also the the uh, what do you call that? The dialogue also discounted that. I would say that I see. I'm like on the fence about this movie and a lot of the times you will change my mind about <laughs> stuff or be like, you're right. I'm like, Oh yeah, you're right. Like, and I definitely think this will be one of those. Cause I'm not like set and like, Oh, like I, th I thought it was good. I would say I would, I did enjoy, it's a long movie, two yeah. hours, 34 minutes. Like, yeah. and it, it ain't short. I think what really influenced this movie to being higher or to a lot of people's expectations uh, lower to a lot of people's expectations is the reviews for it because a I lot didn't of look at them yeah but yeah a 6.5 honestly like that seems kind of almost low for a spike yeah. lee movie like it's no i have some examples right here go like go right ahead the guardian and uh vulture new york magazine they gave it a hundred on the metacritic scores that's that's and a lot of them were saying uh, this is the best spike lee movie and i think that's really where i got it from the expectations for it because i but, yeah because i had heard good things about yeah. it like i was like oh yeah if this is it's on netflix too like this yeah. must be good but yeah uh, i it was it was it, disappointing it's you were saying least. like the dialogue and all that and like we're right now we're sticking to kind of non-spoiler stuff so okay. we're gonna keep it until maybe i don't know 20 through 20 minutes yeah, yeah 20 30 minutes through but it's just like it's the you said the dialogue i would say the pacing it's weird oh that too yeah it's just like oh we're here oh now we're talking about this and then we're here i was uh, so focused on the story i didn't even think about the pacing it's like yeah the story's interesting like the the it idea the idea of it is very mm -hmm. like interesting i was like wow this is cool but like 
as I was trying to say earlier, though, like two hours, 34 minutes, long movie. But I like I was intrigued. I would say all two hours, 34 minutes. I was like, I was OK. I'm going to like in theaters. I do this thing where like, oh, how many times I check my phone while I'm watching a movie and like at home, I kind of do it. How many times I like pause it because I like want to go to use the bathroom or something mm-hmm. or just like go get a snack like and like i i just sat through and watched all two hours three four minutes like i didn't do that at all (laughs) (laughs) no i did watch it through yeah yeah, it just got so boring like it it had me on maybe about 30 minutes in 30 minutes in i can see that i think that was when it was for me it was it was interesting enough for me to want to know what was going to happen but there were so many kind of cliche hints and and foreshadowing i just yeah it just it yeah just made and me i, I of it. we'll talk about there's like one thing specifically like you mentioning foreshadowing like it foreshadows and it almost it's like predictable you know yeah we watch this literally specifically for chadwick boseman yeah and unfortunately he's not in it as much as i thought i thought he was gonna be more i thought yeah. i mean he is i would still say kind of a main character no i think they uh I hate saying this, but I think this was way too ambitious. They could have just stuck with uh, ch- uh, looking for Chadwick's character in the in the movie. What they could have done. So the thing is, I like the story. Like them, they go to Vietnam to recover um, the remains of Storm and Norman, Chadwick's character, and like that's why they're there. But there's also another reason they're there. I think it's overshadowed by the f- like the gold. Yes. Or, uh the gold over overshadows yeah purpose. yeah I, well that's what i was kind of like back in. i well, they're there for his remains but also there's gold and they don't want people to know and i think that's a really cool premise but i think a spike lee vietnam war movie about a uh african-american like like what what's it called not a squad not a battalion uh, something like that squadron uh, something i don't know no it's Platoon. Platoon. Yeah, I was about to say. Yes. Like, going to find someone lost in Vietnam would probably be a lot better, I feel yeah. like. I like, and it would still, like, it would. I feel like it would have a good Spike Lee, like, twist to it, too. Like, Yeah, he could have done so much better. <laughs> yeah, like, this could have been. It almost feels like, I don't know, It maybe it's to the writers. I don't know. I, I don't know whose fault this is. I was thinking about this. I think maybe right after and maybe the second time i watched it i was thinking about this like whose fault is this yeah because it's certainly i don't think it's spike lee's fault and i don't know if netflix even gave him limitations so i don't know if it's the writer's fault or uh this i i really just think this way this movie was way too ambitious for what it needed to do uh because they they really i think the focus for the movie was not Chadwick's character, not um, Storm and Norman, mm-hmm. but it was the gold, and <laughs> and then it it almost flips it. It f- the focus is flipped a lot. I feel mm-hmm. like that's again like going from pacing to just the focus of the movie. Like there's the they're in Vietnam, they're veterans. Like that's the focus, and then like oh now we're talking about gold. Now we're talking about Storm and Norman. I remember. Um, I was thinking like this movie was kind of disrespectful because if you if you were let's say you were a, a veteran right mm-hmm. and you actually did go there to recover your friend this is kind of disrespectful because you went through war with this mm-hmm. with this character but you're after gold yeah that well it's kind of and it I has a selfish undertone for a movie focused on black characters yeah well I think uh, to be honest like what's what's this guy's it's the god his he's the godfather of otis otis yes otis is like baby mama says it she's like i think she's the one like oh gold makes people do strange things like Mm -hmm. and it's almost not them but it's just like strange things happen because of this gold and that is actually what happened like yeah Yeah. like it's it's a again foreshadowing (laughs) but it's like it's uh, just weird. There like, are so many scenes in this movie that could have just been explained by them just being like, "Oh, this is this is what's here for." Which we'll talk about that in the spoilers. Mm-hmm. But a lot of this movie was very amateurish. I was watching when I was while I was watching it, I was kind of confused. Like, why does it seem so bleh? 
and then I realized a lot of their sets, a lot of the scenes, they're out in the open. Mm -hmm. So when you have a very tense scene or like you have a build up to a tense moment, they're all in the open. They're it doesn't feel like they're condensed. Yeah, there it doesn't feel like they're stuck or struggling. They're just there. there. I would agree with that. I I could see like there's and I think, but it also, it almost leads it to, it is still kind of tense. Like just to play devil's advocate, it is still kind of tense because you don't know where something bad could come from. At least when I watched it, there's some scenes I'm like, it could be anywhere. Like, I don't know what's the, when they're an adversary or like they're, the oh, antagonist yeah, is going to come oh, towards man. them because yeah. it is so open. And I mean, it's the jungle, like they're in the Vietnamese, Viet. Many. It doesn't. Also, it's not Uncle. set up that that uh, the characters are gonna have a quorum, quarrel, quorum. Quor- don't know the fucking word anymore. Quor- quarrel. I guess quarrel. No. Like a disagreement. Fl- Let me just, just gonna say disagreement. Just disagreement. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not set up at all. <laughs> I mean, it just kind of happens. One lady. Yeah. 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 It kind of does. Yeah. It's, except for that one lady who said it. And it's like. Yeah, a lot of it's just like, oh, now this is happening. Okay. Yeah. If we're going to talk about, like, the individual uh, characters, mm-hmm. man, the worst one was, um, what's his name? Which one? Who who would uh, you? Leroy, uh, Delroy Lindo, Paul. Paul, yeah. His character was so bad. Yeah, I felt like it was very all over the place again. I should say that, like, all the performance in this like all the all those actors are amazing. Yeah, no, I thought everyone's performance was really good. I think that kind of saved this movie in a sense. Not to me. I just think they're good, uh, good actors. Well, no, I think everyone's performance in this was pretty good, and it. I think that's what kind of kept me locked in. Okay. Because like, like uh, the big thing about Paul is, what's what you say, Delroy Lindo, mm-hmm. his character. He's got really bad PTSD, and like it was believable. Like I, I was. I would believe it, like how he was reacting to stuff. And like, I think again, I can just to like give it some props. I think even like the score in certain points gave it, uh, some like feeling like Mm -hmm. to like, there's one moment where he's arguing with a Vietman, Vietman, God, I can't say Vietnamese. Yeah. That one. Vietnamese. It like, um, like what oh god a uh, shop person like what shop person on the boats oh yeah and i, I think it, it's it's intense it's like oh god what's gonna happen like yeah uh, fun fact that kind of thing does happen oh i believe life. it not just in vietnam also someone in the philippines that kind of thing happens it's, that's all the this, time that's like the same that's the same area right i uh, know um philippines is like very south or it's well, like I, south of china and then vietnam is like north i pull up a world map so i <laughs> i'm cultured <laughs> but yeah uh just as a background uh this movie was shot in thailand uh, which was surprising i didn't think that they were gonna shoot this in a tropical area at all i didn't recognize the the scenes where they had a hipache hipache helicopter mm-hmm. uh when they were landing or they were getting ambushed, basically. It's not a spoiler because it was in the trailers. I'm pretty sure. Um, well, that I don't feel. I think people was, people say that, and I still feel like that eh, kind of still is a spoiler. <laughs> but I mean, go ahead, go ahead. I think this was also the same place where they shot uh, Kong Island or something. What is that movie called? Uh, Kong king of skull island I think. yeah king of skull island my dad just watched that recently and it started weird i forgot how it, it starts with the like i think it's world war Two mm-hmm. pilot crashing down yeah. on his island i was like is this how that movie started yeah but yeah i i, I would believe that i thought it was similar to godzilla they they should they started with footage oh from God. world war Two. And like nuclear explosions. It's or when it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Y- y'all are neighbors practically, just by a lot mm-hmm. of ocean. <laughs> we have the same. Uh, well, that's what the towards Americans. I believe I mean, it. now it's kind of looser, but Vietnam apparently doesn't like a lot of Americans. Well, I mean, because of the past. Well, that, yeah. That's that's not important right now. <laughs> but like, I mean, it, uh, well, it's not important, but it's it is partially. I mean, some if of you the stuff talk about like 
the, the pol- not the oh, politics, I'm not, but the well, background of it. Well, I'm just saying, like, I mean, it kind of is important to the movie. Like, it that's, is. like, that's, I mean, let's, let's stick to the movie, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's important to the movie. Like, the, the America went over there, kill, I mean, even we can talk about Trial of Chicago 7. Like, I felt like it was very fitting that we watched Trial of Chicago 7, which is a protest against the Vietnam mm-hmm. War. And then we watched this. So, I mean, we have a Streaming Junkies episode up about, Trial of the Chicago, Chicago 7. 7. So coming soon, I think. Yes. Yeah. No, no. Wait, is that coming? S- mm-hmm. It's coming up next week. Is it? <laughs> Let me check. Is it? <laughs> I don't even remember the schedule. This, this is shameful. My no, bad. no, no. That should, that should be already out. Hold on. That's supposed to come out Yeah, Friday. it's coming out Friday. Well, I just, last Friday. I think I... It should have been that last, last time. Friday. It should have been stream last stream junk streaming stream Listen, junk. I piece? I edited that video last week, so I yeah, don't yeah. remember. Oh yeah, I mean we shot it forever ago. It mm-hmm. feels like so, but it's uh back back to the five bloods. The five bloods. Um, this movie was also meandering. Yes. Oh, well, it was. That is what I said earlier. But meandering. This is. I wrote this down because I wanted to defend this movie from all the bad reviews from it. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people were saying, like, this is awful. This is the worst Spike Lee movie. This is the worst Netflix movie or whatever. I don't, I don't, I was looking all through that and I was like, this, there's no way this is awful. But it was, it's, it was meandering and it was boring, but it wasn't awful, at least to me. And also (laughs) someone said this was artless. Listen, art is whatever what an artist does. And what they consider art. Just because yep. you think it's artless, that doesn't mean it's artless. You, th- From your perspective, it's probably artless. Because you have a different oh. perspective of art. But for an artist, art is art. Whatever yes. they make is their art. So, just saying, fuck you. Alright, keep going. <laughs> well, I was just going to mention the like one Marvin Gaye song that they have. That without the... That's acapella. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so, it fits so well in this movie. Oh, do you play that? Yeah, yeah, they Dude, play it like <laughs> twice in the movie, like once near the end and once kind of in the middle, and it's so good. It's called um, "What's Going On" is the name oh, of the song, yeah. and yeah. like there's a ton of like versions, I guess, of it. But there's not the acapella version on Spotify, and it makes me upset. It's on YouTube, but that's interesting. Oh, they didn't have that on Spotify. Yeah, I wish. Maybe but YouTube owns the rights for it or something. I don't know. I doubt it. I think they just kind of did it for the movie, yeah. almost. Like, got a version of it. Before we talk spoilers, the the CGI. Did you remember any of the CGI? I kind of know. Are we talking, like, the violence, maybe? No, the first time we see uh, Chadwick's character in the helicopter. Oh, I think I do remember. Yeah. Uh, it, it's don't... a little off, but it didn't take me out of the movie. Uh yeah, I, I guess uh that's kind of a nitpick, but it's just one of those things where it, it's, you know, you have the budget for a good yeah. CGI, and I've seen a lot of people do some YouTube shit and do very well on a YouTube video yeah. for CGI. I'm just saying, uh, they could have done so much better yeah. for that one. Uh, this is not this isn't a criticism, but do you know what aspect ratio is? Like the oh how they changed it yeah. during I like that I thought it was, that was four cool. by four and then it, I don't know it just it kind of distracted me more I I anything. liked it because of the uh, so just to like again non spoilers like they they change the aspect ratio when they go to a to flashback, flashback back and to when they're actually in the war I I liked it because it let us know it's not like we wouldn't have known but it's like oh now we're going to this mm-hmm. and just another thing about the flashbacks they like don't change the actors for the younger s- selves oh and like we talked about this a little bit before but like i said i liked it like i was like this it's like i don't have to worry about who's who like i know and it it didn't again that didn't take me out i thought it was very I, it's a good style choice to do, uh, or at least for me. Like I thought it was just inconsistent because they did try to uh, make them look younger at one scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's only one. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe they did, but, like, I just, like, they did try to make them younger. But they, the when the flashbacks did have, like, a filter. So yeah, that's maybe I, mean. I just couldn't tell. I don't know. I I do I do think that the the you know like 
now in the world of digital stuff, they could have at least done that. They just like made them look younger mm-hmm. and I, I would have been fine with them not doing younger actors, mm-hmm. but just to make them lo- look younger just so that it doesn't take you out of the movie yeah. because it took me out of the movie more than it already did. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I liked it. I liked this. I liked a lot of the style choices. Like, I mean the aspect ratio change. Yeah, keeping no, this that wasn't, that wasn't really a complaint. That was just a kind of like yeah. a forethought. I, I got was you. Just like, you know what? Yeah, this is kind of bothering, but it's not taking me out completely. All right, William, started us off with the uh, with the spoilers. What so, to talk about. Uh, w- yeah, I don't remember where we're going, but yeah, we're hopping into spoilers, y'all. So if you haven't seen it or you want to watch it, hop away. But we're talking about the spoilers. So I mean, I feel like go we to can. this time code right here if you want to skip the spoilers. I'm just saying, I'm gonna put that. Boy, yeah. We need to start putting eyes too. Oh, yeah. Should have mentioned. Batman trailer. Okay. Dude trailer. All right, we're good. Why you got to push the most popular? Push the unpopular stuff. R.I.P. TVA. Nah, they don't have to watch that one. No, they don't have to watch that one at all. Enola Holmes. Streaming, yeah. Push another streaming junkies. Yeah. Well, so, this movie's just all over the place. I don't know. Like, well, I guess we can agree on that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, where, where, I don't know, where should we hop in on spoilers? Like, uh, on the spoilers? Yes. Um, we should hop into the part where they introduced the sun because I don't think they that ever was weird. Showed that in, yeah, that, that was is, weird. It's just like, oh, he's got a son? Cool. <laughs> yeah, characters just pop out of nowhere. It's like, know? oh, he's got a daughter? Oh, like, we don't know. Like, did they have a. Tien and Otis have a relationship? Or, like, did he rape her? Or did, like, they just. <laughs> well, that, again, like, that. I was. That's what I kind of thought. Like, did he just. We were supposed to pretend like we already knew these characters. Yeah, I guess it that's like kind of what we're supposed to assume. Like, oh, yeah. Otis's son, David? Yeah, he's my homie. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> and it's almost also out of place that they showed all of like this the footage and all that, and then they go for gold. It's almost, I don't know. I, I mean, my, this movie might be way too smart for me, but I'm just saying, uh, if you're going to show that, at least focus on that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this feels almost like a sequel to like yeah i know the, the, that's what i was thinking the flashbacks were the first movie <laughs> yeah. but this is the sequel that we just aren't in on the joke yeah <laughs> released a chadwick cut <laughs> yeah for real we, like, i'm curious about like what the previous script for this was was there like a, i don't know i can like early is, drafts yeah yeah i don't know like i feel like a vietnam war Spike Lee directed movie about an African American platoon. That's the word. Mm-hmm. Is would be awesome. He'd throw his. I wouldn't be like your normal like one. No. It'd, he'd put his. This little, would. This would be. He'd make it a Spike Lee joint. Oh yeah. Like it would. It would be good. But it's, it's just very disappointing because it's Spike Lee. Yeah. yeah he, He's done some amazing work. I mean, he wrote, directed, and acted in one movie. It's called, um, I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> Man, I'm going to I'm gonna go through this, this episode all over again and delete all the F words and Me? do the right thing. Do the right thing? I don't know yeah. if I've seen that. Yeah, he wrote, directed it. And well, the it. one, the most recent besides this that I'd watched was uh, He's Got Game. Oh, mine but- was Black Clansman. <laughs> Oh, uh, Black Klansman's so good. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's so good. So good. What is the... Um, I'm not basing this off of numbers, but because he probably had limitations since it's Netflix. The budget. The for budget, yeah. I'm going to check out the budget. Talk, mm-hmm. Will. I will. I got to yawn first. Um, I don't know. It's like, like we were talking about, and then like stuff just kicks off in this movie out of nowhere. Oh yeah, that's true. Like, so we're like probably an hour and a half in, and then what's his name steps on a mind, mine, not a mind. Eddie, he just steps on a mind, and it's like it's yes, that had been foreshadowed by Lamb, I think it was called, mm-hmm. like this these French people that were just introduced at two uh, yeah, at a bar of the movie. <laughs> for some reason, and like oh love interest, cool, because every movie has to have that. Great, like that's one thing I talked about in Enola Holmes, like 
go watch it a flat love interest like oh yeah we're, we've got to have a love interest there even if they're kind of there to push the story and they d- didn't have to be the love interest they could just be there that's true but you can't just introduce a character and then like have them disappear though that quickly I'm, that's what they did though like they it, they showed like david and what was her name hot hetty 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 it's hetty hey it's hetty it's hetty they like have chemistry and it's like oh that's weird oh and she kind of messes around with the one guy in her little lamb group Mm -hmm. but like oh yeah definitely flirting and then they have a moment where like david's going crazy not not david paul's going crazy and he's like got them all tied up and (laughs) she like (laughs) she tries to like be all sexy and like let her escape and she's like i would never and then they like have a moment later but it's like wait so you would never but now y'all are like camped up in this temple together and having this moment like that doesn't make any sense where were you yeah there's no character development there it's just she's this and then she's that and then there's oh no now between. now they're now they love each other though. now they it's want to f- each other yeah like it's great yeah no that just doesn't make sense cool. and then like i wish that happened in real life <laughs> <laughs> yeah i wish that's how it worked you just talk to a girl one time and then she just wants your crazy her. dad ties her up later and she tries to oh, escape yeah. Yeah. like yeah, yeah. That, that's how i don't know and the like whole mind like the mines i wish it had happened like when they found because that's what i thought like during when they had found the gold it had just been foreshadowed Mm -hmm. and that's i guess where when eddie steps on it and gets like his limbs blown off we're like oh well oh that came out of nowhere and that's the surprise of it's great it wasn't even great they just left him there (laughs) they buried him oh they did Yeah, yeah yeah wow Man, even the second viewing, I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, they buried him. It's just like it. Oh, we're man. it's so we're here now. We're here. We're now. We're here, now we're here. Oh, now we're over here. Oh, the story's gonna change like this now. Oh, now we're gonna like the French guy. What's his name? Because uh, Seppo. Seppo John, not J- Jasper Pacon. No, no, no. Oh, no. This movie. I don't think this movie. Ever no, no, th- not Seppo. That's the French the other french guy uh god how do you say that that's it's rena reno g is it gene oh that guy he's the guy he's in the godzilla leon the professional mm-hmm. oh have you seen that Mm-mm. so I remember watching good. him in rush hour though so good he was in rush hour. but yeah like him job. just being like oh oh i they mention it but like oh he's double crossing there's no like scene where he's like like us as the viewers know like oh he's double crossing them which i feel like maybe that's too much of a movie trope but like it's like no they they have you think that all throughout the movie you trust this guy yeah and never one second are you like i trust this guy. i feel like there's no the guy. only thing that i feel like can be foreshadowed or like there was a little bit backstory to anything was there being mines and like yeah. that oh there's like oh there's head he's like oh there's mines all over the place blah 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 we're diffusing them because people step on them and get hurt oh eddie steps on a mine i do i do think that some guy out there is going to be like oh you guys are just un- aren't understanding this the mines are representation of something okay i've Listen, please please if, let me yeah, know let us know, like yeah. i tell us down below but i'm just something's off <laughs> something's not right in the spike lee movie yeah maybe that's how we're supposed to feel the thing is this entire movie doesn't suffer from consequences they mm-hmm. literally have a friend who died from a mine mm-hmm. and they just mm, it's like ah but there you go we'll, we'll yeah there's no it one out. when you and then they the whole uh they find norman's body Oh yeah, what did they do with that body? I, just I nothing. They I thought they had mentioned earlier in the movie, like, hey, let's. I've got a, like, yeah, air, they have a, they an, have a an air, air coming in. Yeah, an air evac. Okay, great. That why That's didn't they cool. do that? Why didn't no. they do that? No, no, we got to get this gold, the other way, or like we didn't like wait for it to be picked up. I guess they marked it. I guess we're supposed to assume they they know where it is now and they're gonna come back. They've already marked it before that. Yeah. 
I'm no, sure. no, they didn't know. No, that's why the guns with the hat. Like I don't remember what they're called, but it's when it's there's a fallen soldier. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. They marked it, but like that was the whole thing. They like found the. That's why he had the metal detector besides the gold was to find the gun. Okay. Like yeah, they they looked afterwards to find the gun, but like it's just. Uh, there's some good scenes like mm-hmm. in in this <laughs> i i love how that's like that sounds like a recovery it's like there's some good scenes like it's not like uh, there's just there's some good scenes like i feel like the scene when uh david his paul's son steps on the mine and they like save him oh yeah that was pretty cool i thought that was like very intense and like them finding the gold i'm like oh yay yeah. they did it the entire time i was like there's no way there's no way after that i was like okay he's home safe and then he gets shot <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> And then like it was so good. Yeah, and then just another twist, like the Vietnamese guys just coming out of nowhere and being like, Yeah, yeah the- that's our gold. Like as soon as they showed them like in the trees or what like in the on the hill watching them, I'm like, That's so stupid. Like, mm-hmm. why did you have to throw that in? Like I think that that was supposed to set up and then you have to have a a payoff at the end. Yeah, they could have just made it instead of I get like, oh it's it's oh it's their gold like you know one setup that was annoying or that wasn't set up at all and it was very annoying which one the tour guide dude knows how to handle a gun yeah he's just kind of like oh no no Ma- i, I feel don't remember like, them setting it up no i don't i think they he, there's like a throw in line when they're at the temple where he's like oh i've done blah 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 i've fought the end of the movie where we have this character in the first 20 minutes but he's comes back around hour two so what like i don't think i i thought i was never gonna see that guy again yeah it's i was like okay they're well yeah because i thought they said they're gonna meet him Mm -hmm. like afterwards i'm like oh aren't they getting air evac'd or whatever i thought that's how that was gonna happen but no like that's i would have been a you know and i understand he went a different route but like if they had found the gold Found Chadwick's re- Storm and Norman's remains, got him. Happy ending, like that. It ended the same way, but nobody died. Yeah, like, uh, what's his name? Day, not David. Otis goes and has his moment with Tien and his daughter. The the money they get goes to like the foundations they want to. Like the Lamb Foundation, cause like, oh, even make make that romance more, make that the next step. <laughs> like, it's just, oh, by this anonymous. Seriously, you're gonna throw that anonymous uh, donor? Is it donor? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anonymous donor. Is no one gonna investigate how this person has this much money just out of nowhere? Yeah, that's a good point. I guess this is what I mean by there's no consequences, cause they don't think about, oh yeah, this might happen to this there person. is no consequences it's so like they just do whatever it's like um and they like try to amend him like seppo dying like mm-hmm. the other lamb guy he steps in the mine he explodes and there's literally nothing left nope. like <laughs> i was like oh dang but and then they're like okay let's not mention him like the rest of the movie mm-hmm. until we get the money and we're like this is for, like they're gonna be like the seppo foundation award I or would, whatever i would that reminds me. I would imagine that the big guy, I don't mm-hmm. remember his name, but he's in part of the lamb. I would imagine that some of these people would have trauma. They literally just saw two people. They, get they blown saw up. a lot of stuff, and it's like they saw. It was gun, that one. Okay, gun just fights and shit. Completely different. Out of that one guy's name, the I'm assuming it's him, Paul Walter Hauser. That sounds right. Simon. Yeah, that's him. What else has he been in? Oh, yeah, he was in Itonia. Tonya. Yeah, I remember. He was in Black Klansman, too. Yeah, I remember him. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Uh, He's going to be... I think... I feel like we watched a trailer that he was going to be in a movie or something. I don't remember. Songbird. That's what it was. Oh, shit. God. I don't even think that it's going to be out by this point, but... (sighs) We reacted to the Songbird trailer, so be ready for that. It may be out. I don't don't know either. (laughs) I have no clue. But yeah, he's gonna be in that. He was he was Richard Jewell. I need to watch that still. It's on HBO Max. Which one? Richard Jewell. Oh no, I haven't seen that yet. It's about okay. Let me read it because I don't want to get the story wrong. It's based off a true story. 
just a little side. After foiling a bomb attack in 1996, Atlanta Olympic security guard Richard Gould, Jewel is an instant hero. However, when the FBI, FBI, God, FBI leaks to the media that he is a suspect in the bombing, his life becomes a nightmare. The, the trailers make it look pretty cool, and uh, Norman Rockwell's in it, and I love him because he's an Iron Man too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Norman Rockwell's awesome, besides Iron Man too. <laughs> it's checking the coins that I have. <laughs> Sam, not Norman Rockwell. Sam Rockwell. Norman Rockwell. Wow, you like Iron Man too, and you even mess up the guy's name. Because I was thinking about the Lana Del, Ro- Del Rey album. <laughs> Lana Del Rose. That's, is that what you're about to say? I said Lana Del Rey. You said Lana Del Ro- Rey. <laughs> uh, I no, I was having another stroke. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, three billboards. We're going off. So- and he's in uh, Vice. God, he's a good actor. Okay, Anyways, I think we should wrap this up. We're wrapping this up. Yep. So we got to give it a rating though. Uh, uh three. No, I'm just kidding. That's okay, pretty 4. low. 5. I'd give it a four, four and a half. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll agree. Four and 4. a half. Five. Wow, that's the first one we agreed to. I, yeah, I think Actually, so. First like, ever. All right. I was gonna say four and a half, but yeah, yeah, definitely four and a half. It's just like, and anyone asking, wondering about the bucket, we put money into a bucket anytime someone mentions the, the MCU. MCU. So or DCU, but no one ever mentions the DCU. Oh, we'll get there, buddy. We'll get <laughs> no, there. Just Wait till <laughs> the Schneider cut comes out, baby. <laughs> Speaking of cuts, we're about to make a cut here. So final thoughts. Uh, mine is some of the action scenes almost doesn't connect, like the ambush midway through, like yep. the gunfight. Um, this movie is very, where did I write that? Cause I don't remember. Okay. The story was unmotivated and dry. Um, I like the beginning, but it really didn't do much to convince you that they wanted the gold and they wanted to bury their friend properly. It was ineffective. Yes. Is that what I, is what I'm trying to say? And then finding out about the pistol thing, it was a bit overreacting. Which pistol? When they were in the camp or they were camping. Oh yeah. And, and like, then they you just got went, a gun? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Like, <laughs> you would think these guys are vets. You would have some sort of defense, mm-hmm. legal or illegal. I would probably do the same thing. And Either I may or may not have done the same there thing. There could be tigers out there. There's, There's tigers could, yeah. in Vietnam, right? I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. know. I, uh, bo- no, I would. I don't think so. Well, there's wild animals that could probably kill at you. Either way, there's threats. Yes. And I, I I would imagine that since these guys are vets, they would be holding some sort of defense. Yeah. They don't even have a knife, I don't think. They really didn't have much. They really they had th- shovels. They were like, we're going to go find the gold, find Norman, get the hell out of here. No. That's not what happened. Oh, <laughs> somewhat. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, it was it was Otis's fault for not telling them about their gun, about his yeah. gun. But at the same time, someone... Or s- someone should have suggested it in the beginning and be yeah. like, yeah, don't we need a gun or something just in case? If so. Mm, sad. That's fine. That means we should end. Yep. Well. What's your final thoughts on this movie? I just think there's two. It's what I had wrong with Civil War. Oh, boy. Too many coincidences. Like, it's just like, yeah. this is worse than that, though. Like, I would give Civil War a six. Like, legitimately... Like, I'd probably give it a seven because it's an MCU movie, but like being super critical, I'd give it like a six. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, oh, now, oh, now this is happening. Now this is happening. Now this is happening. And it's just, and maybe we are missing something. I almost hope that we would, but I don't think we are. I'm like going to be honest. Like, I just feel. Just, just. Just to also say that we're trying to avoid political stuff or like political like insights and even on this, in the movie like shit in there. yeah but even in the movie like I felt like even that was kind of just thrown in you know what I mean no I no I see more um I see more uh pol- political related things in there but I'm not criticizing this for what it's trying no, to yeah, convey I, I'm criticizing this for a movie and mm-hmm. also Spike Lee well no like just to like throw one thing in and they threw in like um paul i feel he had the maga hat and i thought that was oh shit yeah i forgot i I thought that was so weird no that was strange it was it was just kind of 
like it was just thrown in i felt like <laughs> he didn't have it until later in the movie he kind of just whipped it out i think no i know he in the beginning he did yeah he the, had the they mentioned thing. it yeah. yeah 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 but then he kind of just whips it out when he i think he's like leaving mm -hmm. like he leaves the group mm -hmm. i'm like well that's just weird i feel like you're just trying to be political to be political but yeah. and but this is but spike lee does that like he 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 he, he he has he likes he it's not that i mean he likes to i'm sure because he loves to make movies but like it's part of his story yes he that's what yeah. and it's not just like a character uh it's just not just a part of a character it's mm -hmm. not a part of character, well, but it's not just what a character believes in yeah it's literally the movie yeah and just one thing I guess this movie was like that, but. one thing to add one last thing like final thoughts and we'll wrap it up is like it's unfortunate that this, I guess, is Chadwick's second to last live action movie, probably. Mm. Like, I I wish we had more. Like, again, I feel like if we just had him, like, a, a, the Storm and Norman story, not the vet story. But his story was also very confusing. Maybe I missed something. <laughs> I need to watch this movie like a third time because that's when, when we when I watched, I'm thinking mm -hmm. of ending things. It literally took me about three to just, to to pick up on everything. I guess, but I I also enjoyed it. So yeah, that's yeah. why I watched it like three or four times. But no, I I probably need to watch. You probably need to watch this movie like two or three times just to get. I get. I mean, yeah, I guess I. It was so. I again. I'm well. You know, watch as many times as you need to. I'm just. I'm just trying to say like. Chadwick's character, like again, he acts the hell out of it, mm -hmm. and I wish there was more yeah. of it. And like, again, it's just sad he's gone. Like, yeah, just to I think uh, uh just to kind of close it off, I do want to say that every time Chadwick is in a movie, he really does, uh, he really does present himself at the very best, mm -hmm. and he he That's kind of funny. takes over the film. He really does. He. You want to watch the movie because of him well, and his performance. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was, I was very like, yeah, he does take over any scene he's in, and like, no matter what, like, one of his movies, um, the one I think it came out right before Forty Two. It's called The Kill Hole, and it's mm -hmm. again, it's actually about like him being an Iraqi war veteran, and the movie's dog poop, like it's garbage, yeah. but he's like okay i see how you landed that role 42 yeah. like and it's just like why i don't know like he's just incredible um that's what i was gonna show you that went up yeah shit my bad <laughs> <laughs> well uh anyways uh I, just also to just also to give another example in civil war <laughs> in civil war he he was the reason why I liked that movie. His character was amazing. The way he presented himself was great. His performance for maybe about the five or six minutes that he was in it, I loved it. And yeah. I wanted to watch Black Panther because of that. And I was really hoping that that's what was going to happen. I think that's Black what Panther. they wanted to happen. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that was just my thoughts on that. Um, well, it is our last episode of Chad Week. And I did write this thing. Should I read it now? Or should I do a whole separate thing? Like I mentioned that we. No, you can read it now. It's the last. I think it's a. It's a proper, final closing. Proper fitting. Yeah. You gotta take off your hat for that. I gotta take off my hat. Yeah. Okay. Here, we'll turn this on too. Okay. I'm gonna read this, and I may read it more than once because I want to get it right. Let me uh, uh, lick the lips. Okay, Chadwick Boseman is a, is a eh, see I already messed up. Chadwick Boseman is a chameleon and simply one of the most incredible actors of our generation. Everyone is strong and has their struggles, but Chadwick must have been, as they say, built different. A four-year battle with colon cancer without telling many is certainly a show of power and humility that many strive to have, including myself. We've lost someone who has shown kids around the world that guess what? White is not the only color a superhero can be. And that the most badass stories have been hidden from all of us because of our country or even our world's ignorant past. Chadwick has brought light to those stories. He has given a face, a voice, and 
and an image to these people, fictional or non-fictional, for all of us to enjoy and fall in love with. From Jackie Robinson, James Brown, Storm and Norman, Detective Andre Davis, Thurgood Marshall, and of course, T'Challa, the Black Panther. We will miss him here every day. Rest in power, Chadwick. Your roles, your movies, and most of all, yourself will be loved and admired for all time. We miss you, Chadwick. So that's going to be our last little Chadwick. So we miss you, Chadwick. By the way, for the uh, for 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 the word, oh, not the word, but for the key to this coin right here, this piece of memorabilia. The coin, or ha <laughs> ha, the thing little coin is what? Oh, I, th- I was hoping you had something. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> for the coin to enter the to win the Black Panther collectible coin for this episode is gonna be Chadwick Boseman, and just put type Chadwick Boseman down in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed, but put it down there, and. You'll be entered to win. Make sure you watch to the end of all our other videos so you can get it. And you'll be entered to win. You can enter to win up to five times, and we'll reach out to y'all once all these videos are out. Mm. I think we'll try to do it until the end of the month. I know I said in one of the videos two weeks, but I would also like to have other people have a chance. To yes. Do so. 